On behalf of the Sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus and Mary, our founders and sponsor, Sister Joanne de Quattro will offer greetings. Sister Joanne is an, alumma, an alumna of the university uh, from the class of 1966. She was a member of the former SNJM California Province Administration and the U.S. Ontario Province Leadership Team. Today, she is representing the current sisters of the SNJM Providence Leadership who unfortunately could not join us from Canada but who have entrusted this responsibility to Sister Joanne. Thank you, Justice Corrigan, for your introduction. It's always a privilege and a pleasure to share the stage with you. Good afternoon, Holy Names University students. I know you're out there, faculty, staff, administrators, and honored guests. A special greeting to you, Dr. Hines, on behalf of the Sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus and Mary of the U.S. Ontario Province, those here in Valley Center, who stood up a few minutes ago, as well as the other 500 members of our province throughout the US, Canada, and Latin America. Today we gather to inaugurate you, as has been previously mentioned, the 17th president of Holy Names University. Interestingly enough, when I looked at the list of your predecessors, Dr. Hines, it seems that the position of president only exists since 1916. And, much to my chagrin and pleasure, I discovered that I actually knew all but the first three. <laughs> <clears throat> Those sisters and the other presidents of Holy Names, some of them here with us today, have provided you, Dr. Hines, and this university with a profound legacy. That legacy comes from the mission of the Sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus and Mary, a mission that has guided our ministerial endeavors since our congregation was founded by Blessed Marie Rose Durache and her two companions. In a religious congregation such as ours, the highest legislative body is its elected representatives assembled in what we refer to as our general chapter. In our 1991 general chapter, we declared Quote, as SNJMs, we are called to give new life to the expression of our charism in our time. We believe that liberating action, which aims at the full development of the human person, is at the heart of our mission of education in all our ministries. End quote. Sisters of the Holy Names everywhere recognize the congruence of the university core mission with our SNJM charism, our specific reason for existence and our gift to church and society. We recognize ourselves as partners with Holy Names in its commitment to create educational opportunities which will lead to justice by enhancing the human dignity of each student leading to her, his, full development as human persons, and by inspiring students to carry this torch into their future professional lives, where they will have the opportunity to guide the full development of the next generation of human persons with special concern for people who are poor and disadvantaged. Sisters of the Holy Names are aware that this university stands in a unique position as the university of choice for many students who are the first generation in their families to graduate from college. By educating these students, Holy Names is changing lives, just as we sisters have dedicated our lives to changing the lives of others through the education of students and fostering work for justice. Today is a day we can celebrate together the next chapter in this precious legacy. Liberating the spirit is the theme chosen for this inauguration. Clearly the most liberating action that can be provided to a person is an opportunity for an education. Dr. Hines, as the educational leader of this liberal arts university, your challenge is to ensure ample opportunities for Holy Name students 
to pursue both formal education in their chosen field, in the disciplines of philosophy and theology, arts and letters, or natural sciences, as well as, and as important as, to be involved in the local community of Oakland and beyond in the global community. You will continue the mission established in 1868 by those early Sisters of the Holy Names, the mission of liberating the spirit in Oakland into the future. Continuing that mission into the future, Dr. Hines, is the sacred trust that we, the Sisters of the Holy Names of the U.S. Ontario province, place in your leadership today. So when I say that the sisters send a special greeting to you, Bill, I believe I can also say that during your tenure, you can certainly call on all of us, especially those 13 former presidents and the other presidents who preceded you in this position, to be special advocates before God for you as you endeavor to carry out the mission of education in this university with its diverse and vibrant student population. May your efforts be blessed. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Joanne. Sister Barbara Bray, Superintendent of Schools for the Diocese of Oakland, will present greetings on behalf of the Catholic Schools of the Diocese. Sister Barbara graduated from Holy Names University in 1968. Thank you. Bishop Corleone, Bishop Cummins, members of the Holy Names University Board of Trustees and Board of Regents, members of the faculty, members of the entire HNU community, distinguished guests, and you especially, Dr. William Hines. In the name of the administrators, teachers, staffs, and students of the Catholic elementary and secondary schools in the Diocese of Oakland, it is my honor and distinct pleasure to congratulate you, Dr. Hines, on your inauguration as the 17th president of Holy Names University. An academic community committed to the full development of the human person of each student Holy Names University offers a liberal arts educated education rooted in the Catholic tradition. This is a mission that resonates with the mission of Catholic elementary and secondary education in this diocese and with me, as you just heard, as a sister of the Holy Names as part of our charism. I am grateful for the gifts of mind, heart, and spirit that I have already encountered in you and that you bring to this university and to this diocese to lead the implementation of this mission here at Holy Names and to this diocese, and to partner with us, as you have promised, in elementary and secondary education for the full development of each student, especially those who are poor or disadvantaged. As you and this HNU community have so aptly proclaimed, this development of each person in your care also challenges you and us to fulfill the gospel call to liberate the spirit in each person and so to transform the world into one of justice and peace. No small feat for all of us. We eagerly look forward to our partnership in supporting each other in fulfilling such a call. All of the members of the Catholic educational community send their blessings, love, and best wishes and congratulations. God bless you, Bill. Thank you, Sister Barbara. 